Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Have you checked my last live stream on YouTube? If not, then congratulations. You are alive. Anyway, today, we are going to create this. This video is sponsored by LightMV. Anyone can make awesome videos online, absolutely for free. All you need is a few clicks to create visually stunning videos. This online video maker helps you simplify and automate the video creation process. Simply choose any template you like. Choose your photos, and wait for the upload to be finished. You can add up to 30 images. Add your own opening title here. Or even, add the end title for the video. Then click on the produce button, wait for the final product. And you are done. Check the link in the description, and get your stunning video today. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Media Player. I am keeping the width in 2048 pixels, and height will be 1080. Yes, we are making it 2K. I am using the 30 frame per second speed, and making the duration of 5 minutes. You can keep the duration, according to your music length. And then hit OK. Now import your music, as well as these files into the project. You can download these files from the link in the description. Select your music file, and then place it onto the timeline. Cool, let's trim out the comp size, so that the music file should fit perfectly. Press N, to set the ending position. Now right click on this part, and choose Drum Comp to the work area. Perfect, here our comp has the exact duration, as our audio file. Now right click on it, and choose pre-compose. Let's call it music here. And make sure to choose move all attributes into the new composition. Now, grab this media player UI. And place it above the music layer. As you can see, here we have this nice looking no dialer design, we will use this design to animate our shape. Make sure to unselect any selected layer. Go to the tools, and select ellipse tool. Please note, my fill is set to none. And my stroke is set to a solid color. Also, I'm using the stroke size of 20 pixels. For the stroke, you can keep any color you want. And then we will create an ellipse, from the center of this knob. Click on the center, and start dragging your mouse. Press Ctrl, and then Shift key on your keyboard and then you can create a perfect circle. Press V, to select the move tool. And then use the arrow keys, to align this circle into this position. In case you found it bigger or smaller, you can adjust the scale value of it. I have to adjust the minimal scale amount. Perfect. You can always hide the mask path by clicking here. Let's adjust the shape of it. Select the shape layer, and then click on this add button. From the drop down list, select trim paths. Expand this trim paths option, and then adjust the end value, so that the shape is having the same size, as we have in our knob design. Also, adjust the offset value, to make the stroke fit perfectly. Cool. 
let's minimize this layer, and then expand it once again. Here you will find this ellipse one, expand it, and then open this stroke option. Here in the line cap, change to the round cap. Now our stroke is having these round edges. Perfect. It's time to animate it, open this trim paths option once again, and adjust the placement and the size of it first. Then go to the first frame, and add a keyframe on end. Select this keyframe, and place it at the end of the timeline. Again make sure you are at the first frame, and now change the end value to 0%. Cool. This stroke is now going to animate with our audio duration. Let's apply some colors to it. Go to the effects and the presets, and search for the 4 color gradient. Apply it onto the layer, and then go to the last position, so that we can see the entire shape. You can adjust the color according to your need. But I am going to make it from green, to red color. You can grab these color points and adjust the specific color position. Even change the color of any point. Place this point near the shape area, to get some bright shade of the color. Let's change the color to red. And it will look more attractive. Adjust the color alignment, and you are good to go. Check the animation, and see if you like it. Cool. This looks good to me. Let's rename this layer as the meter. Now right click on it, go to layer styles, and choose bevel and emboss. It will create some depth into this meter. Now open this bevel and emboss. And change the soften value to 16. Also, increase the size to a larger number, to get some soft shades. Again right click on it, go to layer styles, and choose drop shadow. Open this drop shadow, and change the distance value to, 2 points. And also, change the size value to 3. As well as, change the opacity value to 30%. Cool. This looks good to me. It's time to add the pointer on this knob. Grab this pointer layer, and place it above all layers. Here we have this nice looking pointer, or marker. We need to rotate this pointer according to our meter position. So press R, to open rotation. And change the rotation value. As you can see, this is not rotating around this knob. So let's fix this, go to the tools, and select this pen behind tool. Take this center point, and place it in the center of this knob shape. Check the rotation value, and see if that works. In my case, it could work. So get back to the starting position. And make sure you are at the first frame. Add a keyframe on the rotation. Go to the end frame. And increase the rotation value, so that it will follow the meter position. Perfect. This looks good to me. Let's add the audio visualizer as well. Create a new solid layer. And let's call it Visualizer. Now go to the effect and the presets, and search for the audio spectrum. Apply it onto the layer. And then go to the tools, and select Ellipse Tool. Click in the center, and then start creating a mask. Lose Ctrl plus Shift to make a perfect circle. Make sure it can cover the entire shape. You can always adjust the mask, by double clicking on any of the anchor points. Make sure to change the mask type to none. First, change the audio layer to music key layer. And then change the path to mask 1. 
let's hide the mask path by clicking here. Change the side option to side B. Also, change the display options to analog dots. You can always change the color of this spectrum, but I'll do it later, by adding a fill effect. At some points, the spectrum dots are covering up my knob shape, so let's turn on the mask path, and then adjust the size of this spectrum mask. This can take a while to get the good result. Now right click on it, go to the layer styles, and choose drop shadow. Open this drop shadow option, and then change the distance value to 2. And size to 3. You can do anything you want. I am just showing you the way, the destiny is yours. Now the final step. Go to the effect and the preset, and then search for the fill effect. Apply it onto the spectrum layer, and then change the fill color to a light gray color. Do some minor changes according to your need. Play this, and your animation is complete, I will see you next week. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day. I will always be the one that's right here, standing by your side.